Hello everyone, in this video I will tell you how to improve your renders in four or maybe a little bit more simple steps. Let's go! The visual vibe. And this is how you can see on the left side there will be a rendered version. And you can see that these controllers they almost invisible right so they have the same color as a body and because of this the edges and the edges are sharp they are almost invisible right so what you're gonna do first and this is the first step we will add a roundness uh, and to do so we will select the first item and I'll probably do this like in this version here and I will do this uh, in this section, so I'll quickly change it from material to random It's more visible, right? Select the first one, go to the modifiers and add bevel So now I will set up the bevelness Let's increase it up to three segments and amount decrease to 0 0.01 like this so now it's already more uh, more visible. If you go to the left side here on the left, you can see that now we can see the reflections. This is what we're trying to achieve here. Uh, additionally, we will add a subdivision modifier to make it more smooth. Let's increase the viewport and render. I, I think two levels is enough. Additionally, we'll just add out to smooth Right now you can see Right here that the control now is much better. We can see the edges. We can see how our lights is uh, reflects on the edges and we will see the geometry of itself, right? Uh, so to copy it to the to next I will select them and then the last one I will select the one in the middle where we just applied the bevel and subdivision and go to the bevel and Hit here copy to select it now you can see that the bevel is applied and then the same for the subdivision copy to select it Also apply it then additionally. I will do out smooth for both of them and it will be visible right here on the site uh, for the rendered version now let's do the same for the glass at the very top I will add the bevel I will increase up to 3 and decrease the size also to 0.1 right so you see it's now we have this white edge this is basically the distortion of the light through the glass material additionally subdivision much better there we go now we have the, the light itself and we have a glass I will also maybe increase up to three renders levels right so the same for the body I already applied it so I just turned it on This is how we achieve this cool look. You see, we see all of the edges, they have this cool glow. We can see the geometry of the object itself and the reflections from all the sources of the light. Right, additionally, to make it even more cool, we can add the textures. So I will go to the materials. Uh, so this is the object and I already have it right here. So it's simple noise texture through the bump Which I will apply to uh, To the normal All right, so to do so and to visualize it for you guys. I will select this one go to material preview So you see now this is Clearly smooth, right? So what I want to do I will connect it to the normal. Now we can see we have this cool uh, texture on the surface. So this cool texture on the surface will give us more uh, like plastic look. Same for the body, but for the body additionally I have uh, here through the mix I added the scratches texture, right? So there will be a little bit more 
uh, reflections. So let me, let me show you how it looks like. This is the render version in cycles. Let me a little bit close up. There we go, you see? There we go, small, small scratches appears. It gives us more realistic look. I will show the example at the very end as a rendered version. Right, and basically this is all for the first step. The second step is HDRI map. So to do so, we need to switch object to the world. Uh, so right now you can see we have only background and color and trends uh, applied for the background. I already have installed Blender Kit, but you can simply go to blenderkit.com or you can go to uh, other services and simply download the HDRI uh, map and use it for yourself. So what is the HDRI map, right? This is basically a panoramic uh, photo like this one, like uh, basically like Google Maps. So you can, you can download it and upload it to your uh, scene. All right, uh, going back to this one, how to add it. So you can just go to Shift A, search, type in environment texture, and connect it to your color. Right. Additionally, if you uh, have turned on um, Wrangler node, you can just simply do Control T, and it will give you texture coordinate and mapping. Right. So in this case, you have uh, more control through this uh, texture. What I will do, I will go to the HDRI map right here. Then you can see I can uh, select each one of them if they're uh, available for me. So I will type in something like room, go to the filter. I already have selected first, uh, free first. And then I just need to quickly select the one I wanna use for my uh, 3D model. So I like this one. Uh, now we need to select the size. I will probably go with the 1024 because I just need it for the reflections, not for the real background itself. So hit apply. Now it's applied. To show you how it works, I will go to material one more time. Sorry, to render it one. Yeah. There we go. You see, we have around the model, we have this. HDRI map, like for uh, Google Maps. And what it gives us, if I go back, and now to show you guys how it works, I will go to the render settings, go to the film and turn on transparent. Now, you see the difference, and I will show it right here one more time. If I turn off the environment texture from the background, it will be like this. So basically we are applying just single color background, which is this kind of dark gray color. If I apply the color, it will have all of the uh, shades and colors from the background image, right? Uh, what I can additionally do, I can, I can rotate it. Uh, so I want to rotate it through the z-axis and now you can see maybe let's go to um, Maybe it will be more visible in EV Take a look on the right side and the bottom of the model So I will rotate it and you'll see how it's different so you can set up it for yourself No, it's not Maybe in cycles would be better. So let's take a look. Yeah, you see how it's changed based on where the light source came from. Let's take another one, maybe one, um, one light source, let's say um, desert. I will take 
this one small one there we go so what we do what we have here we have one source of one source of light and you can see how it affects the uh, the model additionally what you can do you can add between the environment texture and the background you can add again shift a search and we'll add here saturation and value and what it gives you and i will turn on again in the film transparency removed so you can see the difference right uh, so if i change the hue value you can see how the color of the background will be changed right together with this the reflections on your model also will be changed let's go to the model itself now you can see there we go we have a beautiful blue reflections on the right side and on the bottom additionally you can change the saturation so there will be more vibrance in the uh, in the reflections more saturation right. and if you want to increase the influence so basically the light sources and the reflections of the environment you can just simply increase the trends of the background right so i also increase it and you see all the light sources will be uh, higher more intense so this is the second part the hdri map um, then we will go to the third part i will turn on back here so this is our rendered version there we go this is this is the the model uh, and the third step is color management so i'll go to the uh, render the very bottom we can see the color management and here we have a look so i will change it and i will show you how it works the first one is based contrast and please take a look on the uh, rendered version you see nothing changed but if i increase it to high contrast now we have more contrast here let me simply remove like this there we go it's a little bit too much Fine. Um, but what I love to use is actually uh, a very high contrast or also punchy. In punchy you can see that the model have more uh, movie style look and feel. And additionally, which is the last step, I love to use curves. So you can turn on the checkbox right here for the curves. And what I do, I'm just usually add more contrast by dragging this small guy here and this one here. You can see the difference in the model, right? So it depends on your model, your uh, idea, but it's great that you can change it right here. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more useful content. Thank you.